Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero to 60. And wasn't roll racing just an absolute barrel of fun? Man, I had so much fun, learned a lot. Uh, this thing is not launching from 40 k's an hour the way it's currently set up. So we've got a th few things to play with, things to tweak. Obviously I've got the diff, um, sus suspension settings to change. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next one. I think we're gonna be much quicker being able to properly accelerate in second gear. Um, but as much as I wanna focus on going faster, I actually need to go the other way. We need to finish the flex fuel setup that we started last week. So that means I need to actually go and put some pump fuel in it, lower the e-content and make sure that the, the flex algorithm does what it's supposed to do and reduces mainly the port injection. We need to make sure that the port injection flow rates slow right down on a log. So we'll go and put some pump fuel in it, run it on low boost and uh, go and do some logs. All right guys, let's go. Okay, so the app. Basically what we've got here, the car it's sitting on, I shall start it up. Don't know why SOS is flashing up there, that's a new one. Um, okay, so the car is just under half a tank of fuel, which is what we've got set on here. I've got it set that it's around a 61 litre fuel tank, I think it's 60 or 62. Um, the pump fuel in Australia, where I'm gonna get fuel from, doesn't have any ethanol in it. So we've got zero ethanol content in the pump fuel. Um, when I run E85, it is E85 fully. Uh, I'm going to target a 25% ethanol mix. So that's going to be an E25. The car's currently got about E60 in it. Actually, I will check in a second just to make sure. And current fuel level is set to 44. So according to these calculations, if I don't add any ethanol, I'll end up at around a tw an E26 mix. So that'll be perfect to test that the uh, flex fuel tune is doing what it's doing. Now I'm confident that the yeah, I'm completely confident that the DME side is gonna work properly for flex. Um, it's hard for that not to work. But what we do wanna check with the logs is make sure that the JV4 does scale the port injection right back as well. Um, yeah, that's the big thing that needs to be reduced with this flex setup. It needs to all happen automatically. So you can see there, it's currently seeing an E59 mix. Let's go and get some fuel added in and um, I'll see you guys once I've got the pump in. Okay, so we have, I ended up getting 35 litres of 98 in the tank. And what I'm gonna do, I shall screen record the JB4, hopefully. Cool, and I'll pop this camera up on the window and you guys will be able to see how long it takes to properly adapt. So hopefully the time-lapse idea worked and you can see we've been running on E25 now for about two or three minutes and it seems to have settled at E25. So we nailed the mixture pretty much perfectly, which is great. And I just thought I'd share with you guys the first sort of light amount of acceleration. Um, yeah, we'll just see how it feels. The JB4 is currently in map two, so we're only targeting 17 PSI peak. And that's how we're gonna to do to basically just test that everything's working properly as it should. Just let a little bit more space build up. It felt insanely slow. Insanely slow. Funny. All right, uh, I'm gonna do a few more, little bit of, give it a chance to adapt, I guess, and then um, we'll do a proper log. All right, it's starting to feel a little bit better. It's like, I assume it's just gotta learn, or maybe it was the JB4 learning the, the new boost curves. But right, we'll do another little roll on. I mean, it's all right, but I guess I've gotten used to what it was before. Um, it still feels really slow, but it is getting up into its power band and actually pulling. But it 
it feels so feels so strangled compared to what it's like on E60. And obviously with another 10 PSI boost helps as well. All right, I guess we need to find somewhere safe uh, and we'll go and do some logs. Cute at this power level. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, oh well. All right, that's definitely going to have enough data uh, in the log, so we can go back home and we'll check if the port injection is scaling like it's supposed to by comparing it to the E60 flex map. Well, sorry, the same map, but when it had E60 in it. All right, we'll see you back at the house, guys. All right, so we've made it back. The car actually ran fine it just felt significantly down on power uh, which it should it should be running much less aggressive timing on the lower e content um, did some cruising on the highway everything felt sweet uh, although i am regretting having a full tank of e25 mix in the car now because i really want to get some more power out of it that was crazy um, i guess i probably should have explained this better the, the main reason for running this flex thing is if i do any really long trips like if i drive it to sydney or that sort of thing i know i can just put 98 in the car get on the highway and just plod along and not need any power but I guess the, exciting, the interesting thing is going to be check the map, make sure the port injection, sorry, check the log, check, make sure the port injection is working properly. And I'm also really curious to see what timing it's targeting on this E25 mix because, man, she feels slow. And in other news, you might have seen at the start of the video, but SOS system, call system failure. Um, yeah, that started playing up. And also now I can't select audio or TV and there's no... No sound. So we've got something else to diagnose. Um, BMW life. Anyway, let's get inside and check these JB4 logs. All right, guys. Well, I am back at my computer and I have the data zap up of that log. So basically, a few things we need to check. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, we need to make sure that it's scaling the port injection properly. Um, now, let me just make sure we're looking at the right thing. Yes, we are. So this is the revision two, map two. Now this is the map that we were doing roll racing on, which obviously was putting out some decent power when I was running it at 27 PSI on E60. And just so you can see what we're looking at, basically this gray line is the, pardon me, is the RPM curve, and the yellow line is the boost curve. And because I'm in map two doing this testing, you can see we peak at, it's actually over boosted a little bit at 21, and then it's come right back down to 15 PSI. Now I'm just going to check that over boost. The JB4, uh, every time you do a target change, it will take a little while to adapt. And you can see there, it should have only been targeting 17. So we did get a bit of an over boost on that first one. Um, now the thing we actually need to check is port injection. Port injection is graphed in the JB4 logs as meth. And it's because they originally used to log the meth flow. And then it got switched into port injection for the port injection vehicles. Uh, meth, there it is and it's flatlining. Sweet, so we're not pumping any port injection in at these RPM and boost levels at E25, which is correct because I reckon, let's just check fuel pressure high, we definitely won't be running out of fuel. There it is there, yeah. So the high pressure fuel pressure doesn't drop below 12, it is not even stressing anything. So that is what we need the flex map to do. Uh, now lastly, I just want to make sure it is pulling timing, um, well reducing timing for the lower octane in the fuel. That is the main, well, so it's one of the main parts of the flex maps. You need it to reduce timing so that uh, it doesn't stress the engine because without the octane, you will get detonation. And okay, <laughs> it's definitely pulled a little bit less timing. Um, Targeting zero degrees of timing while it's on boost. So I'm going to have to check with JSR. That might be something he's built into the map uh, just so that we can run through and make sure that the flex is working properly so we don't have any issues. But yeah, okay, that will be why the car felt so slow. We're literally running zero timing targets whilst it's on boost. That's amazing. Okay, uh, and I'll just show you guys quickly. This is the map that we ran on for roll racing the other night or some data logs at 27 PSI. So it's the same... Same map, just with a different e-content and different boost levels. And I'm just going to bring up the meth trace, which is the port injection flow. That one there. So it was flatlining on when we've got E25 in the tank. And you can see with E60, 
we're running the port injection. This is in top of fourth gear here at 93%. So big difference. The port injection scaling is definitely working. The flex side of the car is all working as it should. Just need to speak to JSR and work out what is going on with the uh, what is going on with the timing side of things. And again, I, I wouldn't surprise if it's something he's built into this test map just to make sure that the pump fuel doesn't do anything bad or cause any problems. Yeah, because without that octane that you get from E85, you don't want to be detonating. Now, while I was out doing that drive, I actually got a text message to say my brakes have arrived. And there they are. So as soon as I've edited this video, I'm going to get those opened. I can't wait to see what they're like. This could be the biggest mistake I've made with a car buying those brakes, or it could be really cool, something interesting. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end this video off here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about flex fuel, let us know. I will update you guys once I hear back from JSR in regards to the, um, the low timing, just to make sure that is something that he did put into the map to do, or if I have got a problem with something, I will let you know. But from everything I can see, I think the flex side of it is all working as it should, which is awesome. It's nice having that option to put 98 in the car, be able to go on a long trip, get some decent fuel economy, and just fill up wherever and not need to worry. And then if I want to go fast, just put some E85 in. Pretty good setup. All right, thank you again. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.